Well, while much of the damage was outside the city, this tree came down today in the back bay. WBZ's Christina Rex is now with us with the latest in Boston. Christina? Lisa, that wasn't the only tree that came down in the back bay. We're here near the public garden, which is cleaned up now, but I want to show you this picture we just got from a viewer, Deirdre Mackelman, that shows a tree that was down in the Boston Public Garden earlier today. Now, it's already been cleaned up, but the one thing we are keeping an eye on here in Boston are those areas near the ocean. The threat of Henri had Boston's Long Wharf boarding up business. The aquarium and MBTA stops closed and flood barriers up along all of the local shops. We still have to wait for the high tide at 11. Um, that really poses a problem for us sometimes because then you're exposed to the wind. But other than that, not as bad as we thought. Boston Harbor Cruises froze its fleet for the day. No boats going anywhere. But that didn't stop people from trying. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's rain, snow, hail, people will come out. While the storm hasn't yet brought the major flooding signature to Boston's waterfront, the threat some waterfront businesses feel is enough to warrant citywide proactive planning next time. Thankfully, it looks like we were spared a brunt of this uh, storm, which is good, but it also serves as a reminder that we really need to adopt harbor wide resiliency um, and the sense of urgency behind it. As you heard, those businesses are keeping an eye for late tonight when high tide is supposed to happen, just to check on any potential flooding along that Long Wharf area. In Boston, Christina Rex for CBSN Boston. 